Hey my friend, welcome back to the Google My Business Setup Series with Avram Gonzalez and in this video I want to talk to you about how to properly SEO optimize your photos and this also works for your videos for your Google My Business listing using the keyword research that we did before. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do this that will really really screw it up so you want to make sure that you follow the instructions in this video closely so that way you make the most of this critical component of your optimizing your listing and making sure that you don't screw it up. Okay, so the difference between people who do this and don't do this in regards to the number of people who actually, you know, customers that actually find your listings is it's drastic. So whenever we do this for clients, we see a huge lift in the number of people that are visiting their Google My Business listing and therefore calling them and wanting to do business with them. Okay, so you'll see this when you do this for your business and you follow all the training up until this point that you're going to watch your statistics just jump through the roof after doing this. Okay, so this is this is maybe the most important step of all of them is just this piece right here after you've done all the proper research up to this point. Okay, so what I want to do in this video is I want to also give you some examples, some do's and do nots, and that way, you know, armed with some of the basics here, you can just go out and just do this, take care of it, and the first time it'll take you, you know, it might take you an hour, uh, depending on how fast you go, how fast you are, but after you get used to doing this a few times, it can be fairly quick. Okay, so if you've been watching the videos up until this point, you already did the keyword research. If you haven't done the keyword research and the LSI keyword research, then you need to go back to that video and you can find the link to that video in the description below this one. Okay, And you definitely need to go back and do that because uh, the rest of this won't make sense and it will take you forever if you don't do that first. Okay, And you won't be as efficient in what you're actually putting together as, as a result of going through this part of the training. Okay, So what we're effectively doing during this this part is actually naming the videos I'm sorry the photos the correct way okay this is the most important part in optimizing your photos after the geotagging okay is, is naming them the right way so we have the keywords right here you've got 20 to 30 photos as suggested in the previous trainings a couple tips here my top tips for you in regards to this process are that you don't want to use the same keywords over and over. This is called keyword stuffing and, and Google frowns on this. If you if you just put, you know, in this example, if we named every single photo uh, for side click design, Sarasota web design over and over, that would not look very good in Google's eyes and, and we, we might actually get a penalty, okay? Um, maybe not a penalty, but it's just not going to really help us get ranked for that term, Sarasota Web Design. The whole point of doing and following the training the way that I'm going to teach you here in this module and everything up until this point is we want to sort of like cast a wide net so that people are searching for a variety of different things, they'll find our listing. Okay, uh, they're searching for a variety of things related to your your product and your service. Okay, so don't use the same keyword over and over. Okay, you want to use a lot of variety. Okay, so these LSI keywords that we came up with earlier, we want to use those as much as possible. Okay, and then we want to name the photos as appropriately as possible. So, you know, <sighs> this example that I have for you may not may not be the greatest, but it, let's say you owned a window washing business. Okay, and you had a picture of some of your equipment. You know, you wouldn't name a piece of equipment, like if you had two pieces of equipment, you wouldn't, you know, one is called A and one's called B, you wouldn't want to name equipment piece number A, you wouldn't want to name it equipment B. You know, you want to make sure that the, the right name is tied to the photo as possible. If there's somebody who is, you know, pressure washing a building, you don't want to name it pressure washing concrete okay uh, or driveways it's two different things you want to name the photos as appropriately as possible okay and when you do name them this is how you want to this is how you properly name them so if it's multiple words you put a dash in between each of the words so you you do name dash photos dash like dash this okay so let me give you some examples um, I'll give you three examples of how we would do this for this client uh, side click design Okay, so let's open that up here. I've got some photos for you. So, um, you know, we have some photos of the interior of this place. So what I would do is I would go through and I would name, you know, this one Sarasota Web Design. I might name this one Web, oops, 
web design company in Sarasota. Or you know what? Um, let's call this one website designer. So we got web design, we got website. And as you can see, you know, in some of the previous research that we did, you know, we found out that people call it web design, they call it website design, and they call it, they also use the word website designer. So we want to get some variation among these different things. So let's go back in here. And then let's look at this. So like the picture of the owner, Tony, let's do this. Let's do uh, Sarasota uh, dash website dash designer dash Tony dash Marchuk. That's his actual name. Okay, so you want to, if you can, this is a pro tip for you. If you got, you know, a person's name, use that. So whenever somebody's searching for the person's name, it'll pop up uh, in, you know, if we look at the actual, the actual work that, Tony has done, and we're going to, you know, display some of his work here on his Google My Business. You know, for example, he did this this website for Berlin Law Firm. So what I would do is I would use one of these keyword terms. So like, let's see over here, um, web developer, Sarasota FL. So let's take that one. So web developer, Sarasota FL, web developer, Sarasota FL and then Berlin dash law firm. Okay, maybe I'll even do this. I'll do dash website. Okay. So now I've got the keyword in here and I've also tied it to the actual name of the company's website that's here. So if somebody is searching for the company or they maybe they maybe they want to know who built the website and they put in a search, then Tony's going to actually stand a chance of showing up for those particular searches and you can earn some extra business like that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through with all my keywords, all of my LSI keywords, and I'm gonna start naming every single photo that's in here until I've completed naming all of them following the rules that I set here in this document. Okay, so again, there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. The the number one thing that you don't want to do is overuse the same keywords. And you don't also you also don't want to overuse you don't want to put like the location of your business in every single photo. Okay, there's a certain percentage that you want to follow when it comes to that. Okay, if you're pretty conservative with it, you're not going to have an issue. Um, but if you really want to, you know, push it to the limit, follow best practices, I do have some additional resources for you. So, what we've done is we've created what we call the superior optimization naming process. So, we have a chart inside of our advanced training that will tell you exactly how many photos you should include the actual city and state uh, inside the, the name of your photo. It'll tell you exactly the percentage of times that you should mention you know your main keywords, the exact percentage of the times that you should use LSI keywords, and so on and so forth. That way you get the perfect optimization and you outrank your competition no matter who they are and even if they've gone through the same process but they haven't done the advanced training, you're gonna smoke them. Okay, so I'm also going to give you some real life examples across multiple industries. I'm going to do this multiple different times, for including for my own business, uh, some sample clients as well. So I'll walk you through how we do this in multiple industries, and then I will give you the full in depth training. It's, I'll say it now, it's boring because you're watching me over the shoulder do it for 20, 25 minutes, but you'll get to see my thought process out loud as I go through and I name every single photo for a particular client. Okay, so if you want that that level of step-by-step -step instruction, then click the link in the description below this video, and you can check out all the details for our advanced program where we include all of this stuff and more. But if you follow this training, this should be more than enough to get you started, and the stuff that you can find in the description, description below this video will just take you to that, that next level. Okay, so that concludes the the naming process of using keywords to properly name your photos and videos for your Google My Business listing. In the next video, we'll talk about further using those keywords in the tags and the descriptions, and there's some other little ninja stuff that I want to share with you um, that'll help elevate the visibility of all your photos and make your Google My Business listing that much more effective. All right, so I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching my video. If you got some value out of it, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible. And then click that subscribe button if you want to get updates for all of our new upcoming content that we're publishing every single day. I'll see you on the next video.